Welcome to pre-math. In this video, we have got this uh, blue square A, B, C, D consists of uh, two rectangles and one uh, square, as you can see in this given diagram, such that the area of this uh, yellow rectangle has been given to us as 62 centimeter square. The area of this uh, purple rectangle is 35 centimeter square. And now our task is uh, to calculate the area of this uh, green shaded uh, square. Please don't forget to give a thumbs up and subscribe. And please keep in mind that this figure may not be 100% true to the scale. Let's go ahead and get started and here's our very first step. Let's focus on this uh, blue square uh, ABCD. We know all its uh, side lengths are equal. If I label this side length uh, as uh, x, then this side length is going to be x, uh, x, uh, and x uh, across the board. And now let's focus on this uh, green uh, shaded uh, square uh, over here. And we know all its uh, side lengths are uh, equal as well. I'm going to label uh, this side length uh, as y. Then this side length is going to be y, y, and uh, y across the board. And finally, I'm going to label uh, the area of this uh, green square as uh, uppercase A. And now we are going to find the value of uh, area A. And now let's make an observation. We can see that uh, this uh, length is Y. This is Y. So therefore, uh, this length has got to be Y as well. And furthermore, we know that this uh, whole uh, side length uh, is uh, x and this uh, tiny side length uh, is y. So therefore uh, this uh, remaining uh, segment length uh, is going to be x minus uh, y. And now we are going to draw some auxiliary lines to make job uh, simple. As you can see in this uh, next step I have uh, extended this uh, vertical line all the way over here. And as a result, uh, this whole uh, yellow rectangle uh, has been uh, divided into two rectangles. This uh, tiny rectangle and this uh, tiny rectangle uh, as well. And now let's make an observation. We know this whole uh, side length is uh, x. This uh, tiny side length uh, is y. So therefore, uh, this uh, remaining uh, side length uh, is going to be x uh, minus y and here's our next step let's focus on this uh, yellow rectangle we are going to calculate uh, the area of uh, this uh, rectangle and now let's recall the area of a rectangle formula area is always equal to length uh, times the width and in our case uh, the dimensions uh, of this uh, rectangles are uh, y and uh, x minus y. So therefore uh, the area of this uh, yellow rectangle is going to be simply y times uh, x uh, minus uh, y. And now we are going to focus on this uh, purple shaded rectangle and we are going to apply the very same uh, area of rectangle formula. Area is always equal to length uh, times the width. And in our case, uh, the dimensions uh, of this uh, purple rectangle are y and x minus y. So therefore, uh, the area of uh, this uh, rectangle is going to become uh, y times uh, x uh, minus y. And now let's make an observation. We can see the area of this uh, yellow rectangle is uh, y times uh, x minus y. And likewise, uh, the area of this uh, purple rectangle is uh, y times uh, x minus y as well. So that means uh, the area of this uh, yellow rectangle is equal to the area of this uh, purple rectangle. And we know the purple rectangle area is uh, 35. So therefore, uh, this rectangle area has got to be 35 uh, centimeter square as well. And now let's make an observation. We know the area of this uh, whole uh, yellow rectangle is uh, 62. And we know the area of uh, this uh, tiny rectangle is uh, 35. So therefore, uh, the area of this uh, remaining rectangle has got to be 
62 minus 35 is going to give us uh, 27 centimeter square. So thus the area of this uh, rectangle is 35 and this uh, other rectangle is uh, 27. Before we proceed any further, let me go over the basic uh, concepts. And now let's focus on this uh, big uh, rectangle that consists of uh, four uh, individual uh, rectangles. The area of this uh, rectangle is uh, A, the area of this rectangle is B, the area of this rectangle is C and likewise uh, the area of this rectangle is D. Then if we crisscross, uh, we can write uh, this one as uh, A times C is going to be equal to B times D. And now you might be wondering how this thing is possible. And here's our quick proof. Let's assume uh, the side length uh, of this uh, rectangle is uh, A. And this uh, side is uh, lowercase c. And the side length of this rectangle, I'm going to label this one as uh, lowercase b. And this side is going to become c as well. The side length uh, of this rectangle uh, is going to be this side is going to be lowercase a and I'm going to label this side uh, as uh, lowercase d. And finally the side length uh, of this uh, rectangle are going to be this side is going to be lowercase b and this is going to be obviously d. And now let's recall once again the area of rectangle formula area is always equal to length uh, times the width. So therefore uh, the area of this uh, rectangle is going to be a times c since its uh, dimensions are a and c so the area of this uh, rectangle is going to be a times c likewise uh, the area of this rectangle is going to be a times uh, d the area of this uh, rectangle is going to be b times uh, c and finally the area of this uh, rectangle is going to be b times uh, d so therefore uh, this uh, left hand side uh, a times c is going to be this uh, ac times uh, bd so therefore a times c is going to be ac times uh, bd areas and now i am going to rearrange uh, these dimensions i am going to multiply a times uh, d and then uh, b times uh, c as you can see in this uh, next step, it doesn't make any difference whatsoever. And now we know A times uh, D is our uppercase B area. So I'm going to replace that one with the uh, uppercase B. And likewise, uh, this uh, BC area is uh, uppercase D area. So I'm going to replace that one with the uh, uppercase D. So therefore, uh, this could be written as uh, B times uh, D. So therefore we conclude uh, that uh, AC equals to B times uh, D and that's our proof. And now we are going to use uh, this uh, rule on this given uh, problem. So therefore according to this concept, uh, this uh, area, this uh, times this uh, must be equal to this area times uh, this area. So therefore we can write uh, 27 times uh, uppercase A area equals to 35 times uh, 35. So therefore we can write uh, 27 times A equals to 12, uh, 25. And now I am going to divide both sides by 27 to isolate A. This 27, 27 is gone. So therefore uh, the area a of this uh, green square is going to be 12 uh, 25 divided by 27 centimeter square so thus after all the calculations and manipulations uh, the area of this uh, green shaded square turns out to be 12 25 divided by 27 centimeter square and that is going to be approximately equal to 45.37 centimeter square as well. And that's our final answer. Thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos. Bye.